structure of atom first it is called the parman now it is known by the name atom Dear students, many scientists try to their best to tell about the atom. Among them was Neil Bohr. Neil Bohr, who remained. successful somewhat to explain the atom according to him atom has three sub atomic particles atom has three sub atomic particles that of electron proton and third is neutron electron has negative charge proton has positive charge and neutron has no charge let me draw here a structure of an atom atom is always in spherical form it is center which is it is very dense part called the nucleus it consists of two atomic particles that are protons and neutrons nucleus dear or orbits or we can say the shells like this in these shells dear or another type of particles that are all the electrons dear students these electrons have negative charge protons have positive charge and neutron has 
no damage. Now we go on to know about what is the charge of an atom. Dear students, as we know that the number of electrons and the number of protons are always equal in an atom. So when we have equal number of positive charges and equal number of negative charges, in an atom, their calculation will become the zero and neutron has also no charge so we can say an atom is electrically neutral neutral Now we go on its orbits or its shells which are around the nucleus the outer most layer or orbit of an atom is called the valence orbit or valence shell so we can say valence orbit or valence shell is lost shell of an atom. Now, in valence shell, there are number of electrons, they are called the valence electrons. What are valence electrons? Valence electrons Number of electrons in lost shell This is lost shell of this atom Number of electrons which are in lost shell called the valence electrons Dear students, as we know that in an atom there are maximum number of shells A. More than eight shells are not possible. Why is so? It has a great logic which is very beyond your scope you will study it in higher classes now we discuss here about the valence
valency what is valency whenever atom combine with other atom it make use of it is valency whenever an atom combine with other atom it may use of it is wells valency depends upon valence electrons valency depends upon valence electrons if we have valence electrons one we can say it is valency is plus 1 if we have two we can say it is valency is plus 2 if we have three we can say it is valency is three but if we have Will be divided by. They will be uh, subtracted by eight because maximum number uh, number of shells of an atom is eight. Then we can say four minus eight equal to um, minus four. If we have valence electrons four, we can say its valence is minus four. If we have valence electrons eight, we can say it is valency is minus three. If we have valence electrons six, we can say it is valency is minus two. Similarly, if we have valence electrons seven, we can say it is valency is minus one. And if we have Valence electrons eight. We can say it is valence is zero. Dear students, this was the basic about the atom. It is second part today. Thank you.